The US capital is still reeling from this attack. A car careering into two police officers before smashing into the barricade. A man then jumped out brandishing a knife before he was shot. He since died from his injuries and has now been named as 25-year-old Noah Green from Indiana. Police are still trying to establish the motive, but they don't believe at this early stage that this was terrorism related. The investigation is ongoing from what we can see from video at this time. I do not see uh, the suspect uh, wrestling with a U.S. Capitol Police officer, but when he exited the vehicle, the knife was clearly in his hand and he did start to run uh, toward the officers. This entrance is one of several accessing the U.S. Capitol complex, and it's primarily used by senators and their staff although Congress is currently in recess. Get Get Staff and journalists who were inside at the time were warned to stay away from windows and seek cover. Security is still very tight here at the Capitol buildings, the centre of the United States government. Now, investigators are still carrying out their forensic work, trying to understand exactly what happened. But what is already clear is that after the events of January the 6th, this has been another traumatic day for the police. One of the police has now died from his injuries and has been named as William Evans, a serving officer for 18 years. I ask you to please keep the United States Capitol Police family uh, in your thoughts and prayers at this time. Uh, it has been an extremely difficult and challenging uh, year for us but um, we will get through this and we do appreciate the community support. The president, Joe Biden, has reacted, expressing his heartfelt condolences to his family and sending his gratitude to all those who responded to the attack. Washington, D.C. has been on high alert for the last few months. Following this, the storming of the Capitol building by Donald Trump supporters, rallying to his false claims that the presidential election was stolen. The security services warned that further unrest could follow in America's febrile political environment. People carry out acts of violence. That phenomenon, sadly, does not seem to be going away anytime soon. There are some complex reasons for that, the pandemic being one of them. But sadly, um, most experts, including uh, our own government's uh, recent intelligence assessment that was released about two weeks ago suggests that we should continue to expect to see actors, usually um, alone or in small groups, uh, conducting acts of violence like this. Security will remain high here in the days to come. But once again, this is a city in mourning, coming to terms with another attack on its centre of power.